face is looking better. But it still, I think, is going to need a lot of work. Like, for example, I don't like this path at all. Or rather, I don't like this jogging over like that. It's one thing if it was if it had corridors and it was just that was the way the corridor went, but this is open. And what I eventually want to do is have it go straight here, and have the stairs over here going up into I don't know some kind of storage room or something like that. Storage room that also has access up here to uh, where I've got the portal and the ladder way that goes up to the nether rooftop access. Uh, yeah. So, that's something. However, I also want to try to at least remove some of these torches here, and I think I've got something for that. Get rid of some of that nether rack. Alright, now, I went and got some glowstone. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, and then a glowstone. And then back here, do the same thing. And now, one, two, three, and four, and then on the fifth block, remove that glowstone, bingo. Come back here, do the same thing. there. Now, in here, can't quite like put it between the beams like there, because this is an even numbered spacing. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could. As long as it was significant, it was uh, consistent here. What if I did something like this? There. And there. So. Like so. And then get rid of these torches. And these torches. Yeah, I think that looks better. I want to do something with this farm, too. I want to expand it. And the only way I can do that is by coming down this way, digging it out that way, and down one block so that the water will flow. Uh, because, you know, obviously... I cannot pick up that water block. I can't place down new ones. Okay, actually, I can pick up a water block. All I need is a bucket. But I'll never be able to place it back down again. At least not until somebody comes up with another way to do that. Uh, yeah, it's glitching from up top side. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't do this before. But yeah, that needs to be three wide, like the pathway going into it. And come to think of it, block this off. And then in here, I can set some kind of storage thing. Let's get... Uh, a bit more glowstone going on. This floor needs to not be cobble anymore. And I can actually close this hole up now. And the reason I put this hole in here was uh, there would be a lot of times when I'm in here trying to do something and out here there's gas or blaze or something like that. And uh, I needed to be able to go through here to get back up to the track without getting shot at. Because... Sometimes you just don't want to deal with that, yeah? And, uh, yeah. So, that's better. This whole thing is better. I need to, you know, I think for the time being, oh, actually, stone brick wouldn't be bad. 
Uh, actually, stone brick slabs. Yeah. Let's go ahead and break this out of here. Break that out. And then, uh, There's a cobble there. And here. And then slab down the rest of this. That's better. And yeah, okay, that light is a little bit redundant, but I don't care about that. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and like break one of these out or something and put in a crafting table. I don't have to mess with it right now, but already it looks a little better at least. And that's a big chunk of what this is all about, is making things look a little better. Okay, so getting a little bit of progress there but uh, there's something else I want to do I've been thinking about it and I want to do something with this with the water that I placed back in 1.2.5 when it was possible to do it in vanilla by just placing ice blocks and, and breaking them uh, unfortunately, you can't do that anymore, nor can you just place an ice block and melt it with uh, a torch or something, because that doesn't work anymore. They made sure to fix that. Of course, that's for varying values of fix. Uh, something else that I want to do, the reason I brought all this glass down here, is a unfortunate fact of life in the nether is the spawning of the uh, zombie pigmen and even an occasional blaze in here along the trackway. But I figure what I need to do, at least until this world updates into a version where uh, such things do not spawn on the track is to use the glass along the entire length of it. That will at least keep them off of the track. And then to keep them from spawning in here in the rest of the area, I can just uh, hit the sides up with slabs and there we go. It does mean you don't get off the track at any point except the station, but... Uh, In the nether, that's the only time I ever want to get off the track, is when I'm at one of my station destinations. And so on. So I'm going to be working on that stuff off camera over time. And I think I'm just going to drop this uh, glass in here. And we'll just throw that back in there. Put this away. All right, I've got some cobble here. I'm going to see if I can do something with this cobblestone. Because uh, there's all of this. Now, obviously, I can't do anything with the water source blocks. They are where they are, and that's where they're going to stay. But the water flow itself can be manipulated. If I'm going to go down there, then uh, I don't care if I am working in a water-covered area. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to get some potions of fire resist. Get one active. And 
have more available. Okay. All right. Now let's see what a little bit of carefully placed cobblestone can do for this. Like, for example, there's one spot there in the middle where the water flows don't quite reach to cover it. stone right under that water block, right under the water, and then back up a little bit so that the flow can get over there. It's not, huh, okay. There, that did it. Okay. And of course it's pretty well filled over now. Okay, that's fine. And this is a stable place because the water all flows towards it from several directions. And apparently that's another stable spot. But what I want to do is kind of spread this water out further. And, uh... See if I can spread this any farther. Yeah, it's spreading slowly, but it is. Look at that. Swimming pig man. <laughs> well, he was swimming. Okay. But uh, we've got a good size opening up there. And if what I do is go over here to... Oh, boy. Come on. Over this way. build up a wall around the edge of where the water is. That's not what I want. You see where I'm going here is to surround this whole area with a wall that uh, sort of pens it in and then basically build the wall up a lot higher. As a matter of fact, I can probably do a lot better from up a little bit higher. Not 
time to run out of cobble. just cover this whole area we'll just surround it with a cobblestone wall oh come on dude get out of my way I would kill him but it would get all his buddies going and I don't feel like messing with that right now if I wasn't on the edge of lava probably would go ahead and do that. I'm going to have to bring him a whole bunch more cobble. Because the plan here is to surround this whole thing, this whole water flow with a cobble wall, and then bring the cobble wall up to there. That basically walls off this, this little section of nether this little very rare water covered section of nether yeah leave him and create a kind of a nether oasis Granted, it'll look like crap on the outside because you'll see the cobblestone walls and such. But, and I'm running out of cobble already. The trick is going to be the fact that on the inside, it could be redecorated with other, la other blocks layered on top to disguise the cobble or hide it. and have something of an actual nether oasis. That's the plan. A bit odd, but what the heck. Yeah, here we are. Okay, let's get up top side here and see how that looks. And honestly, I would love to be able to place more water source blocks down here. But I know of no way to do it that does not involve an inventory editor and or something like MC Edit. And yeah. But it's already starting to shape up into some kind of a pool-like thing. And that could be good. That could be worked with tremendously. And the cobble could be either replaced or covered with other blocks. You know, right now I just want the wall in there that will uh, keep it disguised. Keep it out of the sight of ghasts once the wall is high enough to do that. Yeah. So, that's where I'm at. And, uh... I'm going to have a bunch of tedious fun uh, getting that wall taken care of, but that won't be too big a deal. It's just going to probably take an hour or two to build it all the way up to the ceiling over there. And, uh, I don't know, I might be able to spread the water out farther by using some things that basically involve redirecting water flow out farther before allowing it to fall. I don't know. I may try to do something like that. Uh, it would be nice to have a larger area for this. But yeah. Uh, 
And as far as the ice block thing, just just to uh, show what I mean, over here, pop down an ice block and put torches around it to encourage it to melt. And when it does, it will just simply disappear. Boom, there it goes. So, it's a great idea, and I really wish it worked, but that sort of thing hasn't worked for a long time that I'm aware of. Yeah, I really wish back when it was possible that I had done so much more with water in the nether. It would really have been epic. But I think this nether oasis has considerable potential. Water slide, anyone? <laughs> well, actually, really, I just wanted to pick up this cobble. But, still. Another water slide? Yes, definitely. That would be a cool thing. Pick up. Uh, I'm not going to worry about picking up the whole lot of cobble. Of course, one thing about redirecting that water like that is staying that way. I'm pretty sure I could get it to reshape back to uh, the way it was. But then again, do I really need it to? What I actually want is the water to spread farther out over more lava. So I'll be thinking about that. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm going with this project. Uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to haul in a bunch of sand. And uh, at some point, probably down below, create some kind of an actual nether beach. How wouldn't that be something? Thanks for watching. Take it easy.